Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anemesit for those of you who are new here. For those of you who have been around, you know the drill. I gotta ask you these questions. So come closer, come closer. -ish. Have you drank your water today? Did you take off your makeup last night? Did you moisturize? Have you put on sunscreen? Did you text him back? We keep talking about this, but delete his number. He's not worth it, sis. He's not worth it. Delete that number. Remove him from your life. Okay, this is a boy free fall, okay? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to do this video. I found that I've really enjoyed doing different types of content. So if you don't already know, I've started vlogging my off shift days. It's called the off shift vlog. So come on in, join the fam. I'll link them below. But I've also wanted to do stuff that surrounds skincare. So now, my skin is not perfect by any means. However, compared to where it was two to three years ago, it has just come leaps and bounds, you know? Do I still get breakouts? Obviously, we're human, we all get breakouts. But I found that my skin texture and my skin like elasticity has just improved so much. And now all I'm really working towards is getting rid of discoloration and dark marks, which are fading by the day. So I thought it'd be really cool to jump on here and talk to you guys about some of my favorite skincare products. These ones are so good, in fact, that they're all empty. So that's how you know I really use them a lot. And I thought it'd be really cool. So if you're interested in this, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, no, hit that notification bell, you know, join the family. We're loving here. We, in we include people. We like it when you contribute and join in, please. I would love that. If you wanna see more of these kinds of videos, because I really do switch up my skincare quite often, I can continue to update you guys. And honestly, let's just go from there. I'm excited. Let's jump in to my favorites. And I guess I'm gonna start first with Skin Cuticles because that's a new addition to my skincare. They're a little, it's a little bit expensive, but when it comes to skincare, I don't care. Like I will drop mad coins on skincare, but don't worry if these are too expensive for you, I have products here that are within range that will help out as well. Don't worry, I got you. So I've made sure to pull up all the information pages on my phone for all the products because I want to give you guys the specifics about each product. So the first product I have is the Skin Cuticles Phyto Corrective Gel. It's a hydrating, soothing gel serum with botanical ingredients ideal to calm and hydrate skin while improving visual redness. The soothing gel helps even skin tone and promote a clear, fresh looking complexion. I started using this probably two to three months ago now and I can't live without it. And I get cystic acne, that's the kind of acne I do get. I don't really have blackheads or whiteheads or any sort of those, I just get really big inflamed cystic acne. This stuff is what stops it in its tracks. Like I literally wash my face, put on a mask and then put this on and it calms my skin. It feels so hydrating as well, which is something I really like because most serums that attack sort of like redness and irritation don't also moisturize. And I found that this serum does that. And it just leaves your skin feeling so like calm and taken care of and moisturized. And I really highly recommend trying it. You can definitely, I believe, get samples online and give it a go. It's something that I've added to my skincare that's really amped up any other product I use. And it just really helps with the inflammation and the irritation that comes with cystic acne breakouts. The next skin cuticle product is a direct relative to the serum. I love this mask so much. I got two empties. That's how, that's how we live in. I got two empties because I use this literally daily. So the phytocorrective mask has been clinically tested post-procedure to effectively reduce visual redness, discomfort, and heat. The phytocorrective mask contains highly concentrated botanical extracts, a calming dipeptide, and hyaluronic acid, 
to intensively soothe and replenish temporary skin reactivity. So it has all the goodness of that gel phytocorrector in a mask and I use this after finding out about the corrective skin cuticle line and uh, my esthetician was like, if you like it so much, we got a mask. And I was like, cool, send that. And honestly, so good. I have sensitive skin. So anything I put on my skin has to be calming. If I put anything irritating on it, that's it. I legitimately turn red. And so this mask is amazing because it calms and soothes while also kind of bringing down that heat like that you sometimes feel on your skin. I like using it right after facials I have with my esthetician as well if we do something very abrasive. This mask soothes and just calms. It's so good. It's so good. And if I like pop a really big cyst or like because I still pop my acne I know it's bad but I can't stop and so we're just going to try to prevent and correct after because it's not going to stop um I can put this right on top of it leave it for like 30 minutes and be like good to go if you use any skin cuticle products yourselves please link them or like tell me down below because skin cuticles is a very new brand to me but I want to try more of their stuff because I really like their high grade really like technical scientific approach to skincare because as a child of science i love it when i can look at something and know exactly why it's doing what it's doing so please let me know below if you use any other skin cuticles because your girl is addicted addicted <laughs> all right so continuing the trend of masks next up we have two masks from the body shop that i have been using for years the first one she's an og she is an og and she is the Himalayan Charcoal Clearing Mask. This mask has seen me through a lot. This mask has really seen me through a lot when I was so down and out about my skin. This mask really helps just pull out impurities from my skin. If I have a really big breakout, like I have one on my chin right now and she hurts, I put it on there, leave it on for like 30 to 45 minutes and it just helps like suck out all the like gross liquids from inside it, it's so good. Let me read you what it says. It unclogs, refines the appearance of pores, and reveals glow. It's for skin that needs to release impurities and toxins, me. Our tingling mud mask contains powerful bamboo charcoal, active exfoliating green tea leaves, and potent tea tree oil, which combine to purify the skin and give it a new lease of life. That is the first time I've realized this mask has tea tree oil in it. No wonder it works so well for acne prone skin. Okay, sis. What? Okay. The body shop coming in clutch. Just clears out my pores, pulls out impurities, and it just makes my skin feel so clean. With that, I tried this Japanese matcha tea pollution clearing mask maybe half a year to a year ago. So I'd always been using this guy and then one day they were having like, I think it was like a two for one special on their masks. And I was like, you know what, let me try this. It looks good. I live in Northern Alberta. There's a lot of refineries around here. And so the air quality isn't the best. And I was like, let me just, let me just give it a try, you know? And wow, it's amazing. It like calms my skin, but also brightens it, but also makes it feel really clean. I don't really know what or how it do that but like it's so good so on the website it says that this mask is enriched with matcha green tea from kakagawa japan dandelion extract and soul soothing community trade aloe vera from mexico 100 percent vegan masking formula deeply purifies gently exfoliates and liberates your skin from the weekly buildup of city pollutants and everyday impurities it smells so good and I really like using this mask probably three to four times a week because it's very gentle on the skin. When you put it on your skin, it goes on this like bright lime green, but then you wet it again and it becomes this like exfoliant and it just like scrubs off. Oh, so good. I love this. Of course, I'll link all these products down below. Don't you even worry about it. I got you. So next up, we have my products from Sephora. These are my hard hitters, you know what I mean? So these are products that I found at Sephora that I really love, tried and tested. If you watched my last 
vlog, um, my behind the scenes weekend with me type of vlog, you know that I tried straying on this face wash and ooh, did it come back to bite me in the butt. I'm still trying to fix my skin from whatever happened there. Like I used a Peter Thomas Roth uh, gel cleanser and it stripped my skin of oil of its oils. It made my skin flaky. Like I was literally like picking my skin off being like wet. I have oily skin, I've always had oily skin, and so to get dry flaky skin freaked me out. I was like, oh my god, this is it, I've completely ruined my skin forever, this is how it ends, just like, call it game over, wrap it up. I broke out so much over here, like I have so many dark spots just from that exfoliant. It's crazy. This is the only cleanser I'll use, period. Like, I'm sorry, this is it, I don't want to see no one else, I don't want to hear from no one else. Like. Leave me alone, I don't want you, stay away. I'm deleting your number, I'm calling the police. 911, are you out there? FBI agent, help me out. This is it. This is the only cleanser I'll use, and if I ever use a different cleanser, it must be phenomenal and made from the tears of angels. It's so good, and it's the first cleanser that I've used that just makes my skin calm. Other cleansers, I think back in the day when I was still going through my skin issues, I thought that cleansers had to be harsh and like scrub away all the dirt and like make your skin raw. This cleanser does the complete opposite of that. It's hypoallergenic, it's meant for sensitive skin, it is so calming, and it just, it just lathers and washes your face. So here are the details on this cleanser. It is a mild, non-detergent cleanser that is safe and effective for sensitive skin. The daily cleanser provides the therapeutic benefits of olive polyphenols, leaving skin soft, refreshed, and free of residue. It effectively eliminates dirt, oil, and makeup without stripping skin of its natural oils. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say to you guys, where when you wash your face with this cleanser, you don't get that like tight feeling that your skin gets when you use cleansers. You know that like really dry, tight feeling where your pores kind of just close up. And so this, if I could, like if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only bring one like skincare thing, it would 100% be this Paracone MD gentle cleanser because I love it so much and it's amazing. Stay hydrated. Oh. Yep. This next product, if you followed me on Instagram for a while now, you know how much I stand this next product. It is the Fresh Sea Berry oil-based cleanser. You need to start um, your sort of like cleansing process when you're removing your makeup with an oil-based remover and then go into a cleanser. And since I started implementing that, skin has been A1. So this is the Fresh Seaberry Skin Nutrition Cleansing Oil. It is an um, omega-rich cleansing oil that removes impurities and even waterproof makeup while maintaining natural moisture levels for a radiant complexion. When I was first starting my skincare routine, I was like, stay away from oils. Stay away from oils, Enam. Your skin is oily, don't use oils. And that was at a detriment to myself. I wish I had started using oils in my routine much earlier because oils balance oils. And so by using more oils in my routine, I found that my oil levels in my skin have actually balanced out pretty well. And now I don't really have to control my oil so much. I refuse to use modifying moisturizers. I refuse to use any sort of mattifying primer because I like the glow in my skin. I've come to love the oiliness in my skin because one, we ain't getting wrinkles. Oily skin does not get wrinkles. And two, I just love that like effortless glow that comes with oily skin. Just embrace your oils and find ways to balance them and I promise you your skin will be so happy. These two together Amazing, I really like them. Next up is this little baby. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud. I mean, y'all already know Glam Glow. This is like a staple. I only included this in here because I find myself always buying the little sizes um, on the checkout when you're at Sephora. That's how they get you. That little checkout lane at Sephora. Why do I come in for just like one cleanser and leave with like 17 travel sizes of stuff that I really don't need? It, they get you, man. Like this mask though really does work. Compared to the Body Shop 
charcoal mask. This mask I feel is a little less aggressive and so I can actually use this on my entire face rather than just on spots that are like acting up and it just kind of like evens out texture really well. Um, I reach for the Glam Go on times when my skin is completely fine but I just want to like, you know, purify a little bit. And you guys already know Glam Glow. Not even gonna go into it. Everyone knows Glam Glow. Get yourself some Glam Glow. <laughs> How many times can I say Glam Glow? Glam Glow. <laughs> Jesus. Next, we have an oil. Another oil. You see how much oil I use in my skincare? It's, this is why the skin, she glows, guys. It's all about the oil. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Boop. This is a banger. This is a hard hitter. I started using this probably at the beginning of this year. Again, it was on that little Sephora trail and I was looking at it and I was like, oh, this kind of looks cool. Let me just like try it out, you know, whatever. And I woke up with skin that was baby soft and glowing. I was like, no way, like, no, there's no way this can be it. So for the longest time, I just kept buying the small sizes because I just couldn't get into my head. This was what was helping until recently, um, like on the last vlog when I used that Peter Thomas Roth cleanser that just destroyed my face. All it took was using this recovery oil for a week straight at night and my skin, she bounced back. Oh man, I'm so happy I found this. So here are the details. The Midnight Recovery Concentrate restores and replenishes for smoother, healthier looking skin all while you sleep. This powerful formula works at night when skin is most receptive to repairing itself from daily aggressors. A blend of oils, including naturally derived lavender, evening primrose, and squalene, promote a softer, smoother, brighter complexion, and it's formulated without parabens. And so, at night, after all of my nighttime skincare, I take a couple of drops of this. It like, I don't know, it seals down all of my skincare for the nighttime and then also just helps just make your skin so soft. Highly, highly recommend this bad boy. Um, I guess finally from Sephora, I have two Glow Recipe products. Which one should I go with first? I'll start with the sleeping mask. So this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. Hella empty as you can see as well as the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. So this was like a really trendy like watermelon thing that came out like what, last summer? And Glow Recipe was like on everyone's minds, everyone was talking about it. And I remember walking through that dreaded Sephora checkout spot where you pick everything up. And these two came together in like a little sample pack. This sleeping mask, I don't know how or why or what, but it is a nighttime exfoliant. I have to have AHAs and BHAs. I'll read the list for you guys afterwards. But when I wake up and I pair this with that oil, my skin is so soft and like, it looks like new skin. It looks like baby skin. Ha, I knew it, I knew it. So it's a skin smoothing, radiance boosting, nightly sleeping mask with watermelon, Hyaluronic acid and AHAs that gently exfoliate and refine the look of pores. That's exactly what it claims. Like that's exactly what it does. Really like it. And then I tried the Glow Recipe moisturizer as well, which is exactly the same thing. Helps with like the general glow of your skin and fell in love with it too. It controls your oil while also kind of keeping you glowy and fresh and moisturized. And I really, really like it and I'm glad I gave it a try. So I debated big time about including this next product in this video because I know that this brand is a little controversial and has been controversial for a while, but this product for the past three years has completely changed my skin. And so I felt it would be a disservice and almost lying to you guys if I didn't include this because I use this very often and I'm on my like 18th bottle of it. And it is the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. So like, I'm not gonna speak too much on the Ordinary and Decium and their company as a whole, but this product specifically was the first retinoid or retinol that I introduced into my skincare and I really like it. So I use this only at night and whenever I use this, I always use sunscreen because it is a retinoid and it will 
um, affect sort of like the layers of your skin. It is a much softer retinoid and I have really enjoyed using it for the past couple of years. It's really calmed my skin and I think it's a big reason why I no longer get like tiny tiny breakouts or blackheads or anything of the sort. I talked to a dermatologist as well as my esthetician and they both agreed that it might be time to try a stronger retinoid for my more cystic breakouts but I believe that this really started kind of like changing my skin for the better and was the first skincare item I had that really made an impact and I saw it directly. The company, The Ordinary SEM, very controversial, but this is a product I use a lot and I find that it's helped me a lot and if it can help you guys, it would be a disservice not to talk about it. So highly enjoy, give it a shot, but please make sure to wear sunscreen when you use any sort of retinoid. So there you go, there you have it. That is all of the skincare I'm currently loving right now. They have completely changed my skin and I'm so happy that I've kind of found some key products that I can keep in my routine while I switch some other stuff around. These products go hand in hand with going to an esthetician. The work my esthetician does is above and beyond and something that I know that I could not achieve by myself and they help make sure that these products work the best they can. If you cannot afford an esthetician, I understand completely. You can still use these products and still achieve results. I just wanna make sure to make you guys clear that the skin I currently have is a result of both the products as well as going to an esthetician. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this. I'm really trying to do sort of different content on my channel. I love fashion, I love style, that is my bread and butter. And of course, I'll continue doing styling videos and clothing hauls that you guys want to see. But I thought it'd be really cool to let you in on some of my empty, some of my favorites. I might even do like a makeup one. Pretty much just changing up my content on YouTube because I find it such a cool platform to express yourself. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a fun little comment. Tell me about your skincare routine. Hit me up with some of your favorite products because I would love to know and add to maybe some of these. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>